This Sunday, we celebrate the day of Pentecost, where Jesus fulfills his promise to send the Holy Spirit to infuse the life of the missionaries of the gospel. And a new tongue rested on each disciple, making them apostles and equipping them to proclaim the gospel in a new language. The apostles were empowered to articulate the good news of Jesus to many cultures that made up the Greco-Roman world, and they were sent out to do so. Today, our culture is made up of many subcultures. There's no one code, program, strategy, or language in which the gospel must be proclaimed and received. It's going to take a diversity in the types of Christian communities with a diverse people multiplying ministries to bear the gospel out of the closed doors of our churches into the world. Pentecost is our annual reminder that God calls us to engage a world of multiplicity and difference. The Holy Spirit's work is the same now as it was then, and that is to give each one of us a new tongue as we learn to speak the language of the many subcultures that live, work, and play outside the walls of our church. Even now, the Spirit is doing precisely this work in our midst. We have small Christian communities forming out of yoga studio, studios, comic book stores, taco shops, apartment complexes, CrossFit gyms, nursing homes, and even a farm. Together, we are proclaiming the one gospel in many different tongues. As the day of Pentecost approaches, may a new set of ears and a new tongue rest on the Episcopal, Episcopal communities in the Diocese of Texas. I pray that God uses us to astonish our world and that God uses our diverse world to astonish us. This is one of the things that they teach you when you become a bishop. <laughs>